students connect to the understanding of the different disabilities and how certain disabilities doesn't limit you from taking part in a sport like archery. Also, not just learning about the ability to, to take part in sport if, you're, if you've got a disability, but also how to instruct someone who has got a disability and how that all they require is just small amounts of instructions and possible small amounts of guidance rather than actually doing it for them. Basketball being the most exciting disability sport worldwide. Initially, I mean, their use of disability is completely focused on inability and not being able to do something. When they see that, regardless of your disability or having no disability, even you can use the wheelchairs and it's up to skills and how you manipulate those skills and use it effectively. I've learned that goalball is less simple than you'd originally thought. You'd originally think that it was just a mask and then you kick the ball. But there's a lot more rules, just like normal sports. The one thing they pointed out was that you shouldn't patronise people with disabilities because they're, no, they're no different than ourselves. Students have really responded well and I think they've now gathered a little bit more knowledge about the disability and that there's no difference in the way I would do it and a vision impaired person would do it. Every one of them has seemed to have left the room with a smile on their face and, and talking about it and that to me uh, is worth its weight in gold. It was a, a fantastic experience for them, it's something they've never done before and they absolutely loved it the two days were brilliant and the instructors were really really good, um, really really positive and you could see that from just how well behaved the kids were. I think it opened their eyes to see, oh we can get closer, we can do the same things. Too. Even if you're like put differently over one you can still do the same thing. Um, well we've learned a lot and yeah it's been really fun. It was different and interesting. They appreciated that, that people no matter how different they are need to have a skills in life and uh, they have to respect that. We had like a day off timetable and we had groups where like some of us in the form went off to the computer rooms and actually conducted the research and put together PowerPoint. We chose which topics we thought that would link in with the actual project as a whole. We were split into different groups and um, researched different ideas around um, PE and disabled students. We had to find out um, how many people actually knew about the Paralympics, which we found that in the end no one did. And we investigated how wheelchair friendly is. In our presentation, we looked at whether our disabled athletes should compete against able-bodied athletes. We actually went to a school which is um, allows disabled people so um, it was actually quite a big difference between Henders School and the primary school that we went to. We had a wide range of questions, methods of research, how they went out about and found the information going to other schools so in that sense they got to be very creative, they had to come up with very different ideas. With the presentations it's like a proud feeling because you know you've done this for a good cause and you get a lot of understanding out of it afterwards, so it helps you to, like, to see it in a different way than what you probably were before. One thing that really stands out for me was the tremendous buzz and also just the excitement and empathy and all, the, all those amazing things that were coming across from very young people. That day was just fabulous. You yeah. saw, you know, you could see different sides of different students and bringing them together, but then working together over a long period of time with their form tutors. Well, it changed my mind in thinking in a different perspective to what I would think about them before. They use as much skill, um, but actually more than us, even though. 
it, they use it in their own ways. I think it just raises their awareness that uh, certain limitations that society puts on people. It makes us more aware of people around us and how difficult it is for them. How great is it that we say to kids that disability can be creative? You know, and you take away the whole negative connotation about disability and you know, and you add deep thinking. I liked this way of working because it gave some people a chance to really like use their independent research skills and then other people could be creative and come up with ideas that would make, that would give an answer to the question that we started with. No, we loved it, but the kids didn't feel, never at any point in time did you think it was tokenistic. Great.